So you can, I'll start the recording right now, okay? Um, all right. Um, wait a moment, I have to share this. Uh, Tab. There you are. All right. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, let me first explain the map. By the way, you can get this book. It's called Lingua Latina Per Se Illustrator. I personally recommend the physical one because it's a really beautiful book. It's not that expensive, but you can also get can get it on PDF. But PDF is just black and white. If the book one, you know, the physical one is in color, so it's much beautiful, more beautiful. But anyway, um, so this is a, a map of the Imperium Romanum, Roman Empire. Okay, so here we have Britannia. Okay. Britannia. This is Hispania. Okay. Hispania. Hispania. Mm -hmm. This is Gallia. Okay. Easy. Yeah. So this is Europa. Europa. Now you're pronouncing the V different than what I'm accustomed to in English. Yes, I know. It's different. <laughs> Completely different. So okay. letter so V. Uh, in those times, the V and the U was pretty much the same letter. Okay. Okay, Europa. Okay. Europa. So even though you see a V, it's actually like a new. So in those times, U and V was two versions of the same letter. Okay. And here we have Italia. 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 Mm -hmm. This is Africa, easy. Yeah. Africa. Over here we've that got. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I was just saying, Africa doesn't really change much. It's no, no, Africa, Africa is just Africa, I suppose. So you can see some words didn't change at all. Some change a little bit. Uh, here we have a weird one. So this is Aegyptus. 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 Oh, okay. Aegyptus. Okay, let me explain a little bit about the letter Y. So the letter Y was a uh, was a Greek letter actually. So some of these words with a Y, they're actually Greek words written in Latin. Okay, so at that time. Um, the Roman Empire had a lot of contact with uh, Greece, mm -hmm. and at that time, rich kids would learn Greek. Greek was considered like uh, a language of the elite, kind of. Okay. So, many of the words that come from Greek, they have the, this letter, and it's a little, uh, it's a different sound. It's like U. Okay, it's a little bit difficult. It's like the French U, right? Okay, see, so I've never learned French mm -hmm. or those sounds. I was too scared to spell it, so I never wanted to learn. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry too much about pronunciation. Uh, the okay. most important thing is you understand. Okay, here I we have Aegyptus, yes. Aegyptus. You, what, what? Is that your, um, your, your glottal that's making that? Aegyptus? No, Aegyptus. You. Gib, gib, and pronounce the G like a G in. Let me think of oh, like a uh, gate, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, it may not be coming clear. Mm -hmm. Um, Aegyptus. There you are, Aegyptus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, here we have a Greta. Greta. So this is the same pronunciation in Spanish, actually. It's Crete, yeah? Greta. Uh, this is uh, Melita. Is that it? Melita. Okay. So this is an yeah. island. Do Melita. you know this island? What island is this? Uh, that one, that this one. is Malta. So in Greek, I mean in it, in, uh, in Latin, Malta is Melita. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, for example, London. London is Londinium. Londinium. 
Londinium. Okay. We also have Asia. Yeah, Asia. Wait. Yeah. Asia, where's Asia? It's here on the on the right. Can you see it? Oh, grass, grassia? No, Asia. No, it's a. Uh, wait a moment. I think you cannot see that bit. Wait a moment. Let me. You're using a cell phone. Okay. Uh, what about now? Can you see it now? Asia. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Asia. Oh, that, mm -hmm. that's. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And here we have Syria. Syria. Syria? No, Syria. Syria? Mm -hmm. Okay. Of Shudia. course, over here on the top we have Germania. Germania. Where does the D come in with Syria? Syria? No, you have a, a Y. So the letter Y is like U, 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 U. U. Syria, Syria. So, okay, Syria. Don't worry too much. So basically, <laughs> we will talk. We will talk about countries in Europe and around Europe. Yeah. Of course, we also talk about Oceanus Atlanticus. Okay. So Oceanus Atlanticus, easy. Yeah. And then we also talk about rivers in, in Europe, in the Roman Empire. So, we have, for example, we have Renus. Let me type it here. So, Renus. Renus. So, well, that's a river. Very popular, right? Yeah. yeah. And we also have Danubius. Danubius, which is another big river in Europe. And, of course... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Dane, the River Dane. Of course, the most popular river, Nilus. Nilus. E e oh, oh, e Nilus. Nilus. E yeah, Nilus. So, what river is that? Nilus. Yes. Nile. Exactly. Of course, we we'll talk about Arabia. Arabia. That's this. Arabia. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay, I think we can start. Yeah, we can start reading. All right, so here we have insula. Yeah. Insula. Mm -hmm. Here we have fluvius. 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 Yeah. How is that different than uh, rios? What, what was the other? <laughs> That's a Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I will. I didn't want to um, go too fast, but okay. So uh, we also have the the word uh, "rius" in Latin, but "rius" actually means um, like a stream or a small river. Yeah. So Latin, the the word for river is actually Fluvius, okay. So don't worry. So fluvius, yeah, river. Okay, fluvius. And here we have oppidum. Yeah. Oh, say it again. Oppidum. Oppidum. Mm -hmm. What do you think oppidum means? City. City. There yeah, you are. So in those time, every city will be a walled city. They will have, you know. A walls around to protect because those time a uh, city could be pillaged <laughs> by the barbarians so they have to use walls to protect them and uh, what do you think insula means island there you are very easy yeah? okay let me zoom in so you can see clearly i mean basically all of the not all of it but a lot of the mm -hmm. i mean the languages are based off Latin, like the Spanish, exactly. the French, exactly. Italian. Even English. Although English is a kind of a mixture between yeah, we're Latin, uh, Scandinavian languages, German, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have Capitulum Primum. 
Capitulum primum, which is Fresh. about Imperium Romanum. Imperium Romanum. Okay, can you start reading here? Which one, right there? This text the below. Okay. Roma in Italia mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. Italia Europa is mm -hmm. Gracia Graecia. Graecia, it's a hard C. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it all hard C? Yeah, so we use the restore uh, pronunciation. So in restore pronunciation, every letter has only one sound. Okay. Okay. In class, in ecclesiastical pronunciation would be Grecia, would be a little bit different. Okay. Don't the word. So, so Graecia. Ecclesiastical. So ecclesiastical would be hard C, classical would be like the English CH. Mm -hmm. okay. More or less. So Graecia. Graecia in Europa. Mm -hmm. Est Italia mm -hmm. in Graecia in Europa sunt. Mm -hmm. Hispania, mm -hmm. Quoque, Europa, mm -hmm. es Espania, 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 mm -hmm. Espania. Et, et Italia, et Gracia, in Europa, sunt. Okay, easy. What do you think this means? Um, okay, let's start from the beginning. Roma in Italia est. What do you understand? Rome is in, Ita in Italy. Mm -hmm. Italia in Europa est. And? Est is and? Are you sure? Okay. Italia in Europa est. So you told me before, Roma in Italia est means Rome is in Italy, right? Okay. Italia in Europa est. What do you think it means? Oh, Italia. Italy is in Europe. Okay, what do you think the verb to be is here? The verb must be est. Yes, it is. So you see? It's not that difficult, is it? Grecia in Europa est. Greece is in Europe. Mm -hmm. Italia et Grecia in Europa sunt. Okay, so Italy and mm -hmm. Greece are in Europe. Okay. Where do you think the verb is here? Soon. Soon. So here we have est, soon. Yeah. And here we have the word et, which is different. Yeah. Okay. That's and. That one's and. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Hispania quoque in Europa est. What do you think that means? Spain. So, is Spain? Also? Good, also? good. Mm -hmm. Is in Europe? So, Spain is also in Europe, yeah? Mm -hmm. Hispania in et Italia et Grecia in Europa sunt. So, Spain and Italy and Greece are in Europe. Exactly. Okay, I think there is somebody else here. Oh, sorry. Um, hello, Salwete. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hi. Hi. So here we are starting to read this. Okay. We're reading the first chapter, which is called Imperium Romanum. So we just read the first paragraph. We just translated into English. I'm going to translate it into Spanish, so you can also listen to it in Spanish. Okay. Ay, perfecto. Muchas gracias. De nada. So I'm going to read it again in Italian. By the way, I'm using restored classical pronunciation, not ecclesiastical mm -hmm. one. But anyway, the language is still the same. It just changes the pronunciation a little bit. So in restored classical pronunciation, every letter has only one sound. Okay? So let me read it. I'm going to read the first paragraph, and then we'll tell you in mm -hmm. Spanish. So Roma in Italia est... Italia in Europa is, Grecia in Europa is, Italia e Grecia in Europa sunt, Hispania quoque in Europa is, Hispania et Italia et Grecia in Europa sunt, 
Ok, so, Roma está en Italia. Okay. Italia está en Europa. Uh -huh. Grecia en Europa es. Grecia está en Europa. Can you notice something here? Est, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Italia y Grecia en Europa son. Italia y Grecia están en Europa. Notice yeah? Est, son. Okay. España, ¿qué en Europa es? España. También está en Europa. Uh -huh. España y Italia y Grecia en Europa son. España y Italia y Grecia están en Europa. ¿Ya? Yeah? Very easy, ¿eh? ¿Any problem with this? No, no, no. por vale. el momento todo bien. Vale. Um, vale. Uh, can you ask you your names so I can dress you properly? So what's oh, your... sí, claro. Martina. Sí, Martina. Tina, Martina. And mm -hmm. what about you? You read before. Uh, me llamo Lily. Lily and Martina. Mi nombre es Javi. Okay. Okay, oh. Martina. Javi, yeah. Uh, Martina, uh, could sí. you read this in Latin? Or try to read it, yeah? Lo intentaré, a ver mm -hmm. qué tal. <laughs> a ver, a The whole paragraph, okay? Until, okay. from five until ten, okay? Okay, okay. Egyptus en Europa non es, mm -hmm. Egyptus en África es. ¿Hasta ahora todo bien o Egipto se pronuncia okay. diferente? Uh, the letter Y, the letter uh -huh. Y, uh -huh. in Spanish we call it Y for a reason. Because it comes from Rick, okay? So uh -huh. this has a different pronunciation to the letter I. So uh -huh. it's like a French U, do you know U? This sound? So it's uh -huh. I Egyptus. Uh -huh. But don't worry, uh, at the time many people would make this mistake because this is considered a foreign word, okay? It's actually a Greek word that was introduced into Latin. Interesante, no lo sabía. Entonces sería. Aegyptus, 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 and in, in, no? Aegyptus mm -hmm. in Europa non est, no? Correct, no? Aegyptus in Africa est. Mm -hmm. Y ahora la doble L. No okay, sé, this is like in Italian. Okay, uh -huh. uh, do you speak Italian by any chance? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so in in Latin, it's a sense in Italian. So the, uh, in Latin, we had double consonants. When you have two consonants, it means you have to read it twice. So here you will, you will say Gallia. So Gallia. So you stop a little bit there. So Gallia. Okay. Right? Gallia. Gallia. Mm -hmm. Gallia non in Africa es. Gallia es. In Europa. Mm -hmm. Sí, mm -hmm. hasta ahora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Todo bien. Siria. 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 I know it's difficult. Ah, sí, otra vez. Siria. Es siempre, siempre. Y, mm -hmm. cuando yeah. Veo el one, one letter, one sound. Okay. In classical Latin, it's like that. Okay. One sound. Siria non est in Europa. Set in Asia, mm -hmm. sí, Asia, mm -hmm. Arabia o oh, Arabia, no Arabia, sé dónde. Arabia, Arabia, mm -hmm. sí, cuoque, cuoque, mm -hmm. cuoque, cuoque, in Asia est, mm -hmm. Syria et Arabia in Asia sunt. Mm -hmm. mm, ahora. <laughs> Try it. Germania, Germania. Okay. Always hard G, like in gate, okay? Germania. Germania non in Asia, mm -hmm. said in Europa S. 
Britannia, Britannia. Britannia, ya. Yeah. Britannia. Britannia, doble N, sí. Uh -huh. Quo, que, quo, que. Uh -huh. In Europa est. Germania et Britannia uh -huh. sunt in Europa. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna translate it. So, tell me, what do you think all of this means? Let's just start from the beginning here. Mm -hmm. What do you think this means? Okay. Let's so, see. So, give to in Europa non it. What do you think that means? Egipto no está. Egipto, gracias. Egipto no está en Europa. Uh -huh. Egipto no está en Europa. Uh -huh. Egipto está en África. Uh -huh. What about this? Sí. ¿Qué tal esto? ¿Y esto? Galia. ¿Qué puede ser? Galia. Ok, I'm going to show you the map. Let's see where Galia is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Where is it? Ah, here. Alice, ok. What do you think it means? Gal eh? Galia. Because uh, it was Gaul. Exactly, go. Oh, yeah. Go, por qué, por qué? Porque at that time, so what do you call it go? Because that time was called Gallia. France. France, exactly. Oh, okay. But actually that time was different, but would be considered basically France and Belgium more or less, okay? But yes, France. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. no lo no sabía, okay. So Gallia... Gallia. Es, es Francia. Francia mm -hmm. no está en África. Mm -hmm. sí. Francia está en Europa. Mm -hmm. Siria no está en Europa. Está en Asia. Ok. Oh, said. Oh, sí, no, said. Sí, no. Oh, pero, sí, no. Pero, good. Pero. But. Oh, pero. Mm -hmm. It could be also sino as well. Sino, sino. So in Spanish, would be to both of them. In English, just yes, but. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job, by the way. Gracias. Uh, entonces, sí. Se espero. Arabia. Mm -hmm. También. Mm -hmm. está, también está en Asia, sí. Como, mm -hmm. como vimos en el primer ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Es parecido a italiano común, ¿no? Esa palabra. Exactly. Común. Exactly. I mean. <laughs> We are speaking but, uh, Latin badly, as I say. Yeah? <laughs> Spanish, French, Catalan. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. we, all, we all come from the Roman Empire. We are the true Latins here. <laughs> <laughs> Latin lovers. Yeah, I mean, if you walk around my city, you can see Latin inscription everywhere. Awesome. Yeah, you, there's even an, a, a Roman amphitheater near my Malaga. In Malaga, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. in, La in Latin, Malaka. With Malaka. double C. With double C yeah? mm -hmm. Malaka, double C. Mm -hmm. Siria está en Arabia. Mm -hmm. O oh, Siria y F. Okay, so, okay. Sí. we are here, right? Syria. Huh? Where are we? Here, right? Huh? Syria uh -huh. and Arabia. Okay, so you are say... in Asia, <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. Siria Arabia sí. está en Asia. Están mm -hmm. en Asia. Mm -hmm. Germania, uh, Alemania, mm -hmm. no está en Asia, pero está en Europa. Ok, here in Spanish, we, you, you will use sino. Sino, sino. ok. En inglés, just no. but, ok. Ok, siguiente. Next. Next. Alemania no está en Asia, simplemente para repetirlo. Uh -huh. So, Alemania no está en Asia, Alemania sino no en, en Europa. Uh -huh. En Europa. So, bueno. in Spanish, you're going to use sino whenever you have a negative sentence before. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y en Europa okay. y Britannia uh -huh. también está en Europa, o sea, Britannia so, con Inglaterra. Bri sí, es lo mismo. I mean, <laughs> Britannia, Britannia, Inglaterra, yeah. Uh -huh. Y Alemania y Inglaterra o Britania están en Europa. You see, it's very easy. Latin is easy, actually. Es intuitivo, sí. Mm -hmm. sí ya conoces okay. español. Uh, Martín. So, uh, Lili, right? Lili? Yeah, tengo un pregunto. Pregunta. Porque, mm -hmm. 
Sí, en una frase uh -huh. uh, que está Gaia, er, Gaia es est en Europa. The uh -huh. est es delante, pero okay. en los otros es es en el fin. Okay, so you might uh, you might have noticed that we changed the word order easily in Latin. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a, a big shock from you, your English speaker. In Latin, <laughs> in Spanish, we don't care about order. <laughs> we like chaos. So you can rearrange the sentence in any uh, order you like. But you need to write the right conjugation. Uh, in Latin, you also need to have the right uh, declination. We'll talk more about that later. So yes, many times you will see the verb at the end, like here, but it's not mandatory. I mean, you could, so here, for example, Germania et Britannia sud in Europa. I could simply say Germania et Britannia in Europa sunt. Or, I mean, this not uh, an order like in English. You don't have to follow a precise order, but usually you will find the verb at the end, but it's not Mandatory. I mean, you could place it anywhere, pretty much. Yeah? Cambia la... Mm -hmm. El orden. Sí, so, pero change mm -hmm. the connotation. Exactly. Does it change the connotation if you change the word placement? No, you don't change the sound. Uh, I mean, Asia is Asia. Asia is going to be always Asia. Yeah? So... No, no, no. Mm -hmm. that, like... Um, big and um, enormous basically mm -hmm. but they have a different connotation a different underlying meaning so just changing mm -hmm. the word okay mm -hmm. i don't want to go there because uh, i could spend many 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 uh, hours talking about this for the time being mm, consider that latin language it's freer as all is concerned than english okay so okay. you could rearrange, but yes, obviously uh, in Latin and many other languages, you could place something at the beginning to give more emphasis to something. Like you sometimes you do in English, you could place the time at the beginning. So you could say, on Monday, I go to the beach, right? Okay. In Latin, you could change the order very easily. Okay, so because it's a flexional language, it's like you inflect every word. So every word you change according to many things. We'll talk more about that later. Okay. Um, so what was your name? I forgot, sorry. Very forgetful person, sorry. Lily. Lily. Okay, podrías leer esta párrafo aquí? Okay. 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 Esne, Gai, Gallia, Gallia in Europa, Gallia in Europa est, Esne, Roma and Gallia, mm -hmm. and Gallia non est, Ubi est Roma, Roma est in Italia, Ubi est Italia, Italia. In Europa S, mm -hmm. Ubi sunt Gallia et Hispania, Gallia et Hispania in Europa sunt. Okay, let's translate that into English first. So, what do you think the first thing mean here? Is well, it's asking a question, so it seems like it's a. Uh, es okay. como mm -hmm. is. So, what do you, what do you think it means? Where? Hmm. So we hear, es negalia in Europa? Or is it? Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Galia? Is it? Okay. So is it? Or is? Galia in Europe? So, Ga is... Rome. Is is going wrong? Okay, probably you notice there is a little ne here attached. Yeah. So if you look at the margin, it's like a way of asking. Okay. 
So at that time, we actually didn't have this interrogation mark. Okay, this okay. is something modern. So at that time, they would use this ne. Yeah? Okay. So it's like a question mark. It's like in Spanish, you do this, yeah? More or less the same, yeah? Okay. Okay, right. Gallia in Europa is. Okay, Gaul is in Europe. Mm -hmm. Es in Europa is, in Gallia. Is Rome in Gaul? Roma in Gallia non est. Rome is not in Gaul. Mm -hmm. Ubi est Roma? Hmm. Where is Rome? Where is Rome? Good. Mm -hmm. Roma is in Italia. Donde esta Roma? Mm -hmm. Donde esta Roma? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, entonces, Roma está en Italia. Mm -hmm. Ubi es Italia. Donde esta Italia? Italia en Europa es. Italia está en Europa. Mm -hmm. Ubi sunt Gallia en Hispania. Donde está en Gallia? Espania? Mm -hmm. Gallia and is... Hispania in Europa sunt. Okay, so Gal, um, Gaul and Spain are mm -hmm. in Europe. Mm -hmm. There you are. Good job. Okay. Um, uh, um, mar, 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 I forgot in your name. Sorry, I'm really bad at memory names. Uh, can you repeat again? Sí, claro. Martina, Martina. Martina, Martina, Lili, Martina, Lili. Vale, ok. Martina, ¿puedes leer? Sí, sí, claro. Este, simplemente quería comentar antes que uh -huh. es interesante como Ubi significa, es como dónde está y también es casi como ubicación. Así uh -huh. lo, uh -huh. lo apunté porque estoy tomando apuntes uh -huh. y apunté Ubi como ubicación. Uh -huh. So you can see... <laughs> We all speak Latin, actually. <laughs> but, but very badly, of course, not like this. It's like everything has changed over time, obviously. It's like two millennia, I mean. Y también lo de la pregunta es, ¿no es verdad que antes mm -hmm. este, la pregunta era cuestió, como casi una palabra, cuestió y después exactly. cuo y después cu, u, algo, no, no recuerdo. We'll, we'll talk about that in the future, okay? Don't, don't, okay. don't, don't anticipate. Let's go slowly. Okay. Okay. Paso por paso. Mm -hmm. Okay. Estamos en la línea 16? Sí, sí. Okay, perfecto. Es ni luz en Europa? Ni luz en Europa non es? Ubi est ni luz? Ni luz en África es? Renos ubi est? Renos, Renos est en Germania. Nilus fluvius, fluvius, mm -hmm. es fluvius, fluvius, yeah. fluvius. fluvius est, Renos fluvius est. Okay, so before, uh, with Lily, I comment that at that time, actually, these and these were the same letter. So there was a time everything was like a V, so for example, fluvius. You could see it written like this. I'm oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Like this. Um, ¿Estás dibujando algo? Yes. Ah, oh, no, wait a moment. You cannot see it. Wait a uh, moment. No, for a moment. Wait a moment. I need to change this. Uh, it, screen. It, they pronounce it rain, Renus. 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 So, so, as I said before, Mm -hmm. V and W was at the time was written the same. It was like a V. So for example, flu use could be written like uh, wait a moment. I'm so bad at this. Like this. Um flu use like this, yeah? So you can see it written like this when it's uh and I'm gonna tell you more. At that time mm -hmm. there were no spaces. Every word was attached together. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, 
I mean, if you see it, um, if you take a look at some of the old Roman uh, buildings and whatnot, it's like everything is written in capital letter and all attached. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, the language has changed a lot over time. So this is like uh, a nice way to introduce language because, I mean, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that in the future. So uh, let's translate this uh, into Spanish or English, whatever you like. <laughs> Nilus es una ciudad? Okay, let's take a look at the map. Let's find Nilus. So can you see Nilus? A ver, estoy... Ah, Nilus. Ah, okay, es, es, es el río. Mm -hmm. what, ri oh. what river? ¿Qué río? El río, okay. But what's the name of the river in, in, in English? The Nile River. Exactly. Uh, how do you say river in Latin? Ah, fluvius. Okay. Fluvius. And you might fluvius wondering, fluvius. why don't we say ribus or something like that? Because actually that word meant stream or like a small river. So fluvius was reserved for big rivers like uh, Nilus, for example, yeah? Anyway, so, ¿es ne Nilus in Europa? Mm -hmm. es, well, sí. What does it mean? En, en español sería, no es Nilus en Europa, ¿no? Como, como... Uh, no. So, actually, this sería? ne, I don't know if you heard before, this is a way mm -hmm. to introduce a question. Okay, this is like a question mark, okay? Ah, oh, okay, no, no es... No se traduce literalmente a no, no. es como no. para so, querer... So this is, only, this is only telling you, this is a question. Why? Because at that time, there are no question mark. Question mark was invented in the 15th century. Okay. But yeah, like we have question mark here, so it makes it easier for us. Okay. At, sí. at that time, at that time, this would be written all together. Okay, and everything with capital letters. And so, uh, esne nilus in Europa. What does it mean? Entonces, esto no sé si el río en español también se dice nilus. Está o... el nilo, nilo. Uh -huh. Está el nilo, el nilo. Uh -huh. Está el nilo en Europa. Uh -huh. Está el nilo en Europa. Uh -huh. El Nilo no está en Europa. Mm -hmm. Good. Ubi es Nilus. ¿Dónde está el Nilo? Mm -hmm. Nilus en África es. El Nilo está en África. Mm -hmm. Renus Ubi es. ¿Y dónde está ahora, supongo, otro río? Eh... ¿Otra ciudad o otro? No, this is another river, actually. Ok, otro let's see. río. Let's see if you know this river. This river is up here. Ah, oh, okay. El Rino. En, en español supongo que sería el Rino. El, mm. el Rino o... I forgot. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> I forgot it. Sorry. Está bien, está bien. ¿Por qué no estoy, uh... con... estoy muy verde en la geografía? Yo... Me, too, me too, me too. Estoy muy verde en la geografía. Um, en inglés you call it Rhine, yeah? Yeah, this is it. Sí, sí, sí. Reno, sí, yeah, el río Reno, yeah. Río, Sorry. No, no te preocupes. Esto, estamos aquí aprendiendo y yo. No geografía. No, but I forgot to my own language, which is even worse. Reno. Entonces se llama el reno. Yeah. En español yeah. siempre se dice con el artículo definido. Yeah. Uh, let me check it anyway. No, wait a moment. No, no, this is another river. No, 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 no. My bad. Wait a moment. Let me tell you in Spanish. <laughs> ah, I forgot. Me, me, me gusta buscar, me gusta ah, el Rin, sí. Rio Rin. El Rin, ah, okay. Sí, el... Reno is another river in Italy, okay? So, el Rio Rin. El uh -huh. Rio Rin. ¿Es necesario decir el Rio Rin o debería uh, El Rin, de... el Rin, sí. Uh -huh. I mean, okay. if you have context, you, you understand. Anyway, what was I? Um, ubi es Nilu, Nilu es Renus Ubi est. Entonces, ¿dónde está el Rin? Uh -huh. Renus es en Germania. 
El río está en Alemania. Uh -huh. Nilus fluyus est. El, el Nilo. O el, el, río, río, el río Nilo. Exacto, uh -huh. el río. Uh, el río. Nilo, ah, sorry, sorry, no, 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 my o... bad. El Nilo es un río. Ah, oh, sí, el Nilo, el Nilo es un río. Uh -huh. So, why, you know, notice something uh, about Latin. I don't know if you can tell. We don't really use articles. There's no articles in Latin. Oh, okay. There's no da, there's no a or la or without articles, yeah? So you have to to use the article to translate that into Spanish or English, yeah? But in, in, in Latin, you don't really have articles. Okay, renus fluius est. El, el rin es un río. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Lily, te toca, you turn. ¿Puedo preguntar otra sí, cosa? Sí, sí, claro. No estoy segura. ¿Hay una diferencia? ¿Que no hay una diferencia entre ser y estar o sí que hay? En, la, en latín, no. Latín, no, ok. No, bueno. no. Esta diferencia entre ser y estar se produjo eh, en los idiomas eh, de Iberia. De, uh -huh. Porque vinieron los, eh, los visigodos. Entonces es una cosa que solamente pasa en, en algunos idiomas, como portugués, español, italiano, Ajá. pero no pasa, por ejemplo, en francés o en inglés, ¿no? Sí, sí, tampoco. Bueno, gracias. De nada. Vale, este párrafo es para ti. Lili, adelante. Milus. No pasa nada. Ah, ¿Ha entrado alguien más? No, no. Somos... Vale. Ok. Uh, how many people are there? <laughs> somos, somos tres en total, incluyendo. Ok. So... Ah. So, all, ok. There are three of us. Ok. Vale. So, mm -hmm. Lily, your turn. Ok. Let's see. Uh, it was a quick little mini lesson, you know how I... Mm -hmm. So, Nilus et Renus flu, fluio sunt. Fluvi. 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 Mm -hmm. Fluvi. Okay. Danu vives quoque fluius mm -hmm. est Renus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Renus et Danuius sunt fluio in Ger Germania. 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 Mm -hmm. not... So there's no j, j in Latin. Okay. Uh, I mean, in restore classical pronunciation. In classical, I... not, classical pronunciation, you would have it, okay? Okay. Uh, Tiberis fluius in Italia est. Okay, let's see if you understood. So, Nilus renus fui sunt. So the Nile and the rain rivers are are re oh are rivers the Nile and the rain. So can you notice before we said fluvius and now we say fluvi? Hmm. Yeah. And now you have soon and before you have est. I wonder why. Let's see. Danuvius quoque fluvius est. So this the, is another river. What the river is that? Danube. Mm -hmm. Dan is also a river. Mm -hmm. So not this. Oh, well, Our rivers bad. is a river. Yeah. Right. Usually the s goes on if it's plural, but Latin mm -hmm. it's back. So fluvi, no, ru yeah. fluvius. You see, singular plural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Renus et Danubius sunt fluvi et Germania. Um, the rain and the Dane are rivers in uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. Germany. I was going to say German. Germany. Mm -hmm. um, and the Tiber River is in um, Italy. Mm -hmm. 
So here, if you look at the margin, you can see it says Nilus Fluius S, so one river, Nilus Renus Fluvi Sunt, two rivers, yeah? Fluvi, plural, Fluius, singular, yeah? Okay, um, like. Martina, Martina, yeah? Sí, pero creo que Lidi uh, tiene una pregunta. Uh -huh. Sí, dime, ásqueme. ¿Qué? What's the question? Lidi, ¿tenías una pregunta? Sí, sí, ¿qué? Pregúntame, pregúntame. Tú, tú tenías una pregunta, ¿no? Do you have a question? Anyone? No question? Oh, no. Ah, oh, okay, no. okay. Vale. Eh, Martina, te toca. Uh, Nilos Fluvios. Fluvius, 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 fluvius magnus est, mm -hmm. tiberis non est fluvius magnus, tiberis fluvius parvus est, mm -hmm. Venus non est fluvius parvus, sed fluvius magnus, mm -hmm. nilus et renus non fluvi parvis, sed Fluvi magni sunt. Mm -hmm. Danubius quoque fluvius magnus est. Okay, let's see if you understood. Okay, mm -hmm. Nilus fluvius magnus est. What does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? Mm -hmm. Creo que es el Nilo, ¿no? El Nilo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. El Nilo es un río grande. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tiberis no es fluvius magnus. Mm -hmm. Y Tiberis, otro río. Oh, sí, Tiber, no. en español creo que se llama Tiber. Es un es río en Roma. Ajá. Uh -huh. El Tiber. El Tiber. O el Tiber, uh -huh. well, ok. Vale, el Tiber. Lo estoy apuntando. El Tiber no es un río grande. Uh -huh. Tiberis fluvius parus est. El a ver, déjame pensar. Uh -huh. El Tiber es un río pequeño. Uh -huh. So, Magnus, Parvus. Ok, uh -huh. you can see here, they are opposites. Yeah? They uh -huh. are the opposites. Son los opuestos. Uh -huh. Renus non es fluvius parvus, sed fluvius magnus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Qué significa? Sí. El río no es un río pequeño. Uh -huh. El... Sí, ¿no? Sí, ¿no? Así, ah, sí, no un río grande. Uh -huh. Good job. Nilus renus non fluvi pavi, se fluvi magni sunt. El Nilo y el río el ri no, no son ríos pequeños sino ríos grandes there you are so again parvi magni pat parvus magnus yeah? mm -hmm. danubius quoque fluvius magnus es el danubio también mm -hmm. es un río grande perfect so as you can see, like in Spanish, French, Italian, there is agreement between the noun and the adjective, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Lily, te toca, it's your turn. So now we're okay. going to talk about insula. What does insula mean? The you know isla. Mean? Isla. Right. La isla bonita. <laughs> so the, if you ever heard of the expression insula formosa, no? Um, Insula Formosa is the name, it's the Latin name of the Canary Islands. It's like beautiful islands. Yeah? So yeah, Formosa is beautiful in, in Latin. Anyway, so Corsica Insula is. Can you read? Yeah? Sure. Corsica Insula Est, Corsica et Sardinia et Sicilia. Sicilia. Is that right? Sicilia. Sicilia, that's right. Hard C. Mm -hmm. uh, Sicilia, Insula Sunt, Insulae, Insulae Sunt. Insulae. Mm -hmm. okay. Insulae Sunt, Britannia, Quoque, Insula Est, Italia, 
insula non est mm -hmm. uh, Sicilia insula magna est Melita 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 I'm putting it on the wrong stress Don't worry Melita est insula Parva 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 Par Oh that's right it's the U Parva mm -hmm. Britannia no insula Paria Paria Parva 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 <laughs> said insula magma magna est mm -hmm. et Sardinia non insulae Parvai 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 said insulae magnae sunt mm -hmm. By the way, in ecclesiastical procession, it would change. This one would change a little bit. So, for example, you would say Sicilia, you would say Parve, or you would say Magna instead of Magna. It would sound more like Italian, okay? In ecclesiastical pronunciation. But here we're using, I mean, I'm using restored classical pronunciation, like the pronunciation of the Romans, okay? Anyway, um... So what does this mean, Corsica Insula? Cor Corsica is an island or a star. Cor Corsica is uh, the name of an island. Let's see. Right. So it's this one. Uh, do you know this place? I've heard of it. <laughs> In Spanish, Corsica. Cors, yeah? No, Corsica. This one. Mm -hmm. So in Italian we call it Corsica. Yeah. Same. What do you call it in English? I've forgotten. <laughs> Corsica. Corsica. Okay, Corsica with a G, right? No, with a C. Ah, it's the same. Okay, like in Latin. Okay. Um, sorry, too many languages in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you so, do it. so I don't know what what word is. Okay, this is in Spanish. This is French. This is I don't know anymore. Todos hablamos el idioma del amor. <laughs> sí, eso es verdad. ¿Cuántas lenguas hay? Uf, too many, maybe. <laughs> so, Corsica es Sardinia, another Italian uh, island. Esiquilia, Insula, es Sunt. So, Corsica and Sardinia and Sicily are islands. Are islands, plural, yeah? Insulae. Bro. So, insula, insula, not just this, okay? okay. Britannia, quoque insula est? Uh, Britain um, is also an island. There you are. Italia, insula, non est? Italy is not an island. Mm -hmm. Sicilia, insula, magna est? Uh, Sicily is a large island. Mm -hmm. Melita is Insula Parwa. Um, que Isla es? No, no recuerdo. Malta. Malta, that's right, Malta. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Malta is a small island. Mm -hmm. Britannia non Insula Parwa is an Insula Bagna Est. Britain is not a small island, uh, but a large island, mm -hmm. or but is a large Mm -hmm. Sicilia e Sardinia no insulae parvae, sed insulae magnae sunt. Okay, Sicily and Sardinia are not small islands, but large islands. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good job. Mm. Now we're going to talk about oppidum. What does oppidum mean? City. There you are. It's, it's a city, a town. Uh... It's a, it could be both. It could be. So at that time, uh, you will have several words for city. So you will have opidum would be a walled city. Like the one you have here in the picture. Let me show you. So something like this. It would be like a town. Something bigger would be called urb, like urbe. That's why you have the word urbanian, yeah? yeah? Or urbanistic, yeah? Okay. So, Opidum would be like a town or a wall city, like this, yeah? Something like, well, a little bit smaller. Anyway, uh, 
So, whose turn is it? Forgotten. Is it? Me uh, toca a mi, me okay. toca a mi vale. Martina. <laughs> Martina, vale, perdona. I, I know, I'm horrible at remembering names. Can no, you read? No, no, no. Sí, claro. Con mucho gusto. Mm -hmm. Brun, Brundisium, Brundisium. Mm -hmm. O donde, donde. Here, yeah, Brundisium. Brundisium, o oh, sí. Brundisium, Oppidum, Oppidum mm -hmm. est. Mm -hmm. Brundisium et. Tusculum, mm -hmm. Tusculum, Opida sum, mm -hmm. Sparta, Quoque, Opidum est, Brundisium est, Opidum magnum, Tusculum, Opidum parvum est, mm -hmm. Del P, Del P. Del, con, pronunciando de, la P o pronunciando yeah, como de, si fuera de, una F? Como una P, con una, aspira, no, una aspiración. Del P. Uh -huh. Del P. Y, la, y con la H, ¿qué se hace? Aspiration. Del P. Like okay. this. Uh -huh. Del P. Del P. Non opida magna, sed opida parva sunt. Uh -huh. Ok, let's translate this into Spanish or English. Okay. Uh -huh. So, Brundisium. Ok, what city is there anyway? Let me take, check it out. Vamos a ver. Brum, Brindisi. Brindisi, okay. Yeah, this is a city near Rome, okay, I think, yeah. Brindisi. Yeah, Brindisi is called, yeah. Anyway. So, de Roma en so, Brindisi, Opidum Est, what does it mean? Uh, Brindisi es una ciudad. Mm -hmm. Brundisium Brindisi es... Tusculum, another city, is Tusculum, I think. Tusculo, Brindisi y Tusculo, uh, Opio, Mavir. Son, so? Son. Opida. Opida significa. Opidum, Opida. Ajá, uh -huh. también ciudad. What's the difference? ¿Cuál es si? Ciudades. Plural? Exactamente. Opidum, singular. Opida plural. Mm -hmm. plural. Sparta quoque opidum est. Sí, Sparta es también una ciudad. Brundisium es opidum magnum. Y Brundisium es una ciudad grande. Okay, so notice the agreement here. Opidum magnum, yeah. Ah, sí, ok, concuerde, tiene que concordar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in, in Latin you can notice. It's uh, even more than in Spanish. Like, this is very important in all the mm -hmm. Latin languages, but especially in Latin. You, you'll see why later. Mm -hmm. Tusculum opidum parvum est. Tusculum uh, mm -hmm. es mm -hmm. una ciudad pequeña. Mm -hmm. Del P. Del P quoque opidum parvum est. Del P es también, o oh, es una ciudad pequeña también. Mm -hmm. Mejor, ¿no? Yeah, I think in English you call it Delphi. It's a, it's a city in Greece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delphi one. or Delphi. Yes. Delphi or Delphi, yeah? Delphi in English. Yeah? Right. Yeah. Um, y en español es... I think we call it Delphi. Yes, just Delphi, yeah? Wait a moment. With oh. a PH, with a PH, I think. Yeah? Anyway, Delphi, yeah. So Delphi, quoque opidum parves. Tusculum et Delphi non opida magna, sed opida parva sunt. What is that? Tusculo e Delphi. No son uh -huh. ciudades grandes, uh -huh. sino ciudades pequeñas. Uh -huh. Good job. Ok, I think we almost finished. Oh, we have more. Ok, ok. We're going to do a little bit more today. So... Mm, all right. <laughs> We're gonna do okay. We have quite a long paragraph here. Let's see. Okay, not so long. 
But you're going to have a lot of city names now. <laughs> so Ubi is... Okay, we're going to do something. We're going to break it in two. So this one's going to be for Lily, and the other one's going to be for Martina. So Ubi is Sparta. Lily, for you. Okay, Ubi is Sparta. So where is Sparta? Sparta is Sparta. in Grecia. Uh, Sparta is in Greece. Sparta, in Greece. Mm -hmm. Sparta mm -hmm. is Opidum Graecum. Sparta is a big, uh, yeah, big city. Not big. No, Graecum. Sparta is a city in Greece. And Greek city. This is an adjective, okay? Graecum. Notice the agreement here. Graecum, Opidum. Sparta, uh, Edelpi, Opida, Graeca, sunt. Sparta and Delphi or Delphi um, are Grecian cities. And Greek cities, yeah. So notice not the agreement again. Opida, Graeca, yeah. Tusculum not Opidum Graecum, said Opidum Romanum est. Tusculum is not a Greek city, but a Roman, but mm -hmm. is a Roman city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Tusculum and Brundisium sunt opida romana. Tusculum and Brindisi are Roman cities. Mm -hmm. Sardinia insula romana est. Uh, Sardinia island is Roman. Mm -hmm. Creta, Rhodus, Naxus, Armos, Chios, Lesbos, Lemnos, Euboea sunt insulae Grecae. So yeah, many many islands. Yeah. So let's go to the insulae Grecae. What is that? Insulae Grecae. What does this mean? Islas griegas. Islas griegas. Exactamente. Todo está diciendo Creta, Rodo, Naxos. Chios, Lesbos, son Islas Griegas. Mm -hmm. Okay, Martin, you're going to do the rest. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Solamente yeah. traducir y lo, tú lo vas a pronunciar. Sí, lo voy a leer yo y lo, y lo, y lo traduces, porque así va okay. un poquito más rápido. Mm -hmm. sí, In claro. Graecia, multae insulae sunt. En, en griega hay muchos. In Grecia islas, hay oh. muchas islas. Sí, uh -huh. en Grecia hay muchas islas. Uh -huh. En Italia y en Grecia um, hay muchas ciudades. Uh -huh. En Galia y en Germania muchos son fluí. En Galia, no recuerdo cómo es en español. Eh, en en Francia o en Galia. Ah, sí, Francia, sí, sí, Francia. En Francia y en Alemania hay muchos ríos. Uh -huh. Vale. Sudnef multifluvi et multa opida en Arabia. Ahora está preguntando, supongo, ¿hay uh -huh. muchos? ¿Hay? Uh -huh. ¿Hay muchos ríos? Uh, ¿Y ciudades? Hay muchos uh -huh. ríos y ciudades, uh -huh. pero falta multa, creo. Ríos y ciudades. Multi, fluvi, uh -huh. ah, multa, multa opida. Ah, ok, ahora lo veo. Sí, multi, fluvi, ok, sí. ¿Hay muchos ríos y muchas ciudades en Arabia? So good. As you can tell, you can use the verb uh, est and soon, not only to me is or are, but also there is, there are. Okay. Oh, okay. And again, you have this ne attached to the verb. So this, mm -hmm. it is telling you, careful, this is a question, yeah? Mm -hmm. In Arabia, non multi said pauci fluvi sunt e pauca opida. En Arabia no hay... Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, sorry. Um, so, in Arabia, no multi said pauci fluvi sunt e pauca opida. So, what does this mean? En Arabia no hay muchos ríos o muchas ciudades. Este multi se refiere a los ríos, supongo, por la I. 
no hay muchos, ¿no? Uh -huh. en Arabia no hay muchos refiriéndose a los ríos, sí, este, ¿no? pero en Osino uh, hay pocos, okay. pocos, good, sí, pocos, hay pocos, um, y, y, a ver, So, Pauki, Flowey, pocos, pocos ríos pocas, y pocas ciudades. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Pocos ríos y pocas ciudades. Uh -huh. Good job. Uh, ok, we're going to do one more paragraph. Uh, nun creta opidum est. Um, Lily Strong, for you. Ok. So, nun nun creta opidum est. Ok, let me explain this nun. Um, So noon basically is another way to ask. Yeah, it's just another particle they will use to to ask a question. So just ignore it. It's like a question mark. Eh? So noon creta opidum est. Is free. Mm -hmm. So creta is Crete. Yeah, is Crete is Crete a city? Mm -hmm. Creta opidum est. Crete is not a city. Mm -hmm. Quid es Creta. What is Crete? Creta insula est. Crete is an island. Mm -hmm. Nun Sparta insula est? Uh, is Sparta an island? Mm -hmm. Sparta non est insula. Sparta no está un, una is, isla? No es una isla. Mm -hmm. Quid es Sparta? ¿Qué es Esparta? Esparta opidum est. Esparta um, es a city. Mm -hmm. Genus quid est? What is the, what is the rank? Uh, yes, uh, exactly. So you can see we can change the order very easily in Latin, right? Renus yes, magnus like fluvius. Mm -hmm. Exactly, like yoga, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, rain is a big river. Mm -hmm. Num oceanus atlanticus paru est? Um, is a, the Atlantic a mm -hmm. small ocean? Is the Atlantic Ocean small? Yeah. Non oh, parus it's... sed magnus es oceanus. It's not small, but a large ocean. But Good it job. is a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, okay. We're going to do this one as well. Why not? Okay. Uh, Martina, this one is for you. Mm -hmm. not, not too difficult, I hope. Ubi es Imperium Romano? ¿Dónde está el Imperio Romano? ¿Dónde está mm -hmm. el Imperio Romano? Imperio Romano es en Europa, en el... Asia, en África. El Imperio Romano está en Europa, en Asia, en, Asia, en África. Mm -hmm. Hispania es Siria, el Aegyptus, provincia e Romana es Sunt. España, pues España. España, oh. ya. Yeah. Es España, España y Siria y Egipto. Egip Egipto, Egipto, es Egipto, en Egipto, sí, Egipto. Egipto. Uh, entonces, España y Siria y Egipto uh -huh. provincia, son provincias uh -huh. romanas. Uh -huh. Provincias romanas. Provincia. Exactamente. Uh -huh. sí. Germania no es. Sí. Ah, perdón, uh -huh. te interrumpí. No, no, no. Sí. Germania no es provincia romana. Uh -huh. Alemania no es una provincia romana. Mm -hmm. Germania en Imperio Romano no es. Uh, Alemania no es un Imperio Romano. Mm -hmm. No, no, vale, sí. O no está en el Imperio Romano. Okay. No está, sí. Ok, so notice here, after this in, mm -hmm. we say Imperio Romano, yeah? mm -hmm. instead of Imperium Romano. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is called declension. Oh, okay. okay. So you're going to see that in Latin, every now is going to change the ending according to the position or the role in the sentence. We'll talk more about that later, okay? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So just, I'm just telling you so you be aware of this. Mm -hmm. so Gallia and Britannia sum provincia Romanae. Francia. So, pero, said. Pero, ah, sí, claro, pero. Pero Francia y Inglaterra y Britannia son provincias romanas. So, Romanae. Provincia, you see the agreement here? Mm -hmm. And again, Concuerdo. in Imperio Romano. So here, because it's after in, we use all, all. We'll talk more about this, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Imperio Romano, multae sum provinciae. En el Imperio Romano, hay muchos provincias. Mm -hmm. Magnum es Imperium Romano. Uh, el Imperio Romano es grande. Okay, good job by the way. Muchas gracias. <laughs> mm, now the moment of truth. Da, da, da. <laughs> We're going to do exercises. Uh, right. Okay, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. There you are. So, uh, so here on the right, you have the two options you can choose. Est or Sunt. So you have sentences, you have to tell me which one of these two versions we need to use. Um, so number one, Lily's going to do number one. So Est or Sunt, okay, for the time being, all of these two options. Mm -hmm. So Italia, Lily, for you. Est. Est. Number two, Martina. Mm -hmm. También Est. Mm -hmm. Number three, uh, Lily. Sunt. Sunt. Number four. Martina. Yeah, est. Arabian Europa non est. Mm -hmm. Five. Really. Est. Is here. Mm -hmm. Syria, Coco, in Asia. Est. Mm -hmm. Syria, Arabia, in Asia. Uh, sunt. Sunt. Hispania, in Asia, non. Est. Est. Uh, I cannot see this one. Well, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Oh, we almost finished here, okay. Uh, number nine. Hispania, Gallia, Italia, in Europa. Soon. Soon. This is okay, yeah? This is why I'm very easy. Mm -hmm. Now, let's bring it up a notch. So now you're going to have more words. You're going to have ed, pluvius, in, uh, this is a particle, ne? non, mm -hmm. okay, said, Ubi. So you have to choose one of these, okay? So Lily, here. Italia. In. In. Europa is. Grecia. Grecia. Eh. Non. Mm. Okay, I let me okay. think about it. Quoque. Quoque. Mm -hmm. Number two, Martina. A ver, Italia, et? Et, Graecia, in Europa, sunt. Good. Three. Three. Esne. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Attach, right? Let me type it here. Esne, Arabia, in Europa? Arabia, in Europa? Non. Non est. Mm -hmm. Four. Ubi. Ubi est Arabia. In Asia est Arabia. So notice here you have a long A. We'll talk more about this later. So in Latin you also have long and short vowels. Mm -hmm. That's why you can see this macro over some vowels. So it will be pronounced a little bit longer in time. Yeah. Arabia non est in Europa. Est. Mm. Said. Said. In Asia. said. What does said mean? But, said, but. but. Pero, si, sí, no en español, yeah? Mm -hmm. Says. Mania. Non, es. Eh? No, non. non, in Asia. Non. No es necesario decir non es. Es suficiente decir non. Y... Yeah, it's or oh, here would be uh, omission of the verb because it's clear by context. Uh -huh. Because you have the second part, so it's like 
you can um, deduce, yeah? Permania non in Asia said in our notes. Seven. Renos Renos. Uh, Renus Fluvius. Good. Fluvius S. Renus Fluvius S. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job, by the way. Now I'm going to ask you Latin. You're going to answer in Latin. <laughs> Ubi es Roma? Her, oh, her turn. <laughs> <laughs> Who want to try? S, S in Europa? Roma in Europa Est. Or est Roma. in Europa. In Europa Est. You can change the order. Oh, very okay. easy. Correct. Roma in Europa. In Europa Est. Or est. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could say Roma Est in Europa. Roma in Europa Est. Okay. Uh, est in Europa. You could omit because it's clear by context. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Vale. Ubi Est Italia. Italia in uh, Europa Est. Mm -hmm. Es negra que in Europa? Uh, non. Non es. Simplemente. O, mm -hmm. o, o si es, si es, si es. Minime, negra que in Europa Est. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. <laughs> For the time being, it's still in Europe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ubi es Aegyptus. Aegyptus in Africa Est. Mm -hmm. Est ne Hispania in Europa? Uh, Hispania in, in Europa Est. Mm -hmm. Est ne Syria in Europa? Uh, Syria, Su Syria uh, non Est in Europa? Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Syria non est in Europa. Yeah, you could say that as well. Or you could say Syria in Europa non est. It's the same. Okay, no difference. Ubi est Syria? Syria est in Asia? Mm -hmm. Est ne Gallia in Asia? Uh, non est Gaia in Asia. 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 Mm -hmm. Asia. Ubi est Gallia? Italia est in Europa. Mm -hmm. Est ne Germania in Europa? Um, Germania in Europa est. Now you can speak some Latin. Good. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get to the dry part, which is the ending. So, this one is going to be a little bit more challenging. But I hope you can manage. So you're going to have this us, e, a, i, un, a. If you remember, this is the singular and the plural of some of these nouns. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you remember. So Corsica. Uh, Martina, for you, for example. Mm. Yes. Mm, estoy en decidir como es entre un o a. Try, don't worry. Es un. Oh, no, no, um is um, plural, um is plural. Oh, no. Okay. no, we don't say insula. Oh, so, oh so ahora lo veo, insula. Insula. Insula, singula, insule. Insule okay. is plural. Let, let me explain something else about Latin. So, oh. you know in Spanish you have feminine and masculine nouns, yeah? Si. Have you ever, any of you study German by any chance? No. Si. Yeah, so in German, it happens to say as in Latin. We have feminine, masculine, and neuter nouns. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's why you have three endings. Yeah, you have us, e, a, i, um, a. Yeah, so depending if it's singular, neuter, or masculine. Okay? But don't worry too much about this. Just remember that it's insula, insula, and that's it. Okay, so Corsica, insula is Corsica is Sardinia. Uh, insulae. 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 So, insulae. Mm -hmm. In classic, uh, ecclesiastical pronunciation would be insulae. Mm -hmm. Would be a little bit different. Uh, 
Fluvius. Renus Fluvius est. Renus et Danubius. Renus et Danubius. Flui. Flui sunt. Mm -hmm. Tres. Rundisium. Opidum. Ahora Opidum. viene el UM. Mm -hmm. Opidum, sí. Mm -hmm. Rundisium etusculum. Opida. Plural, opida mm -hmm. sunt. So you can see opidum is a neuter now in Latin. So we say opidum for singular city, opida cities, yeah, plural. Como sabes que es neutro, es, es, en español es la ciudad, aquí es opidum. Sí, um, how do I know? I just know. <laughs> I mean, this is just practice. Uh, but the endings, you know, basically, yeah. But sometimes I, uh, uh, for example, um, many of this uh, insula or insulae or, for example, uh, puella, puellae, they're all feminine, okay? And they are, usually they are talking about either a profession or geographical location, something like that. Okay. Anyway, don't worry too much about that. Just remember the word is... Opidum opida, that's it. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to get confused. <laughs> vale. Sicilia, insula. So now we have an adjective. And this adjective must agree in gender number with the noun. Yeah? Magna. So, magna, exactly. Insula, magna. Cinque, cinco. Mm -hmm. Novios magni, entonces magnus. Magnus, pluvius magnus. Rundicio, opida, opidum. Magnum. Magnum est. Mm -hmm. Tusculu not opi. Dum. Mm -hmm. Magnum. Mm -hmm. Sed. Sed. Mm -hmm. Opidum parvum. Opidum parvum. Mm -hmm. So you can see, yeah? there is an agreement. Mm -hmm. Melita not est. Insula. Mm -hmm. Magna. Mm -hmm. Said. Insula par parvi. Parva. Parva. Remember, we talk about the island, so it has to be feminine, yeah? So parwa, uh, no parwi. Parwi would be for plurals, in for real, for example. Yeah? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, let's scroll down. Y comentaste antes que la tanto la v como la u se pronuncian igual, ¿no? Par, sí, par. es como sí. En aquellos tiempos la u no existía. La u es una invención moderna. Bueno, de, ah. del siglo XV más o menos, ¿vale? Uh -huh. Antiguamente, no sé si tú has visto un texto antiguo o un edificio antiguo, uh -huh. el, por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, eh, a ver, voy a escribir, se puede ver, ¿no? Sí, se Roma, puede ver. Por ejemplo, Imperium Romano, por ejemplo, que hemos visto antes, ¿no? Imperium... Imperium se escribe así con una V uh -huh. Romanum. No sé si lo habréis visto alguna vez así inscrito. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Porque antiguamente la U no, exist o sea, no existía como tal. Era una V. Un... ¿Sí? Entonces tiene el sonido de la U, ¿vale? Entonces aquí en este libro, digamos que a veces usa la U, la V para que sea un poco más fácil para nosotros, si no queda un poco raro. Pero vaya, es intercambiable. Después, en, en, en latín, digamos, medieval, ya se empezó a usar más la U. ¿Vale? Ah, oh, ok. Y también os digo, si veis textos muy antiguos de la época romana, toda la, no existía el espacio. De todas las palabras se escribían juntos. ¿Vale? Eh, me explico. Eh, por ejemplo, voy a escribir aquí. Roma. 
Se escribe así. Todo junto. Bueno, y, y ni siquiera existía mayúscula, era todo mayúsculas. Roma alterna esto, ¿no? Por ejemplo. ¿Sí? Sí. <risa> Por eso. Después ya, obviamente, eso también depende de la época que leáis, ¿vale? Si leéis... O depende de dónde esté escrito, ¿vale? Ten en cuenta que antiguamente eh, escribir eh, era muy caro. Hacer un libro era muy, muy caro. Entonces una forma de economizar era escribir todo junto para aprovechar más el pergamino, ¿sí? ¿Tienes mm. esto de mí? ¿Ya? Yeah. Sí, bueno. es interesante cómo usaron esto como el sistema para ahor ahorrar dinero. Sí, y también aportaban palabras. Muchas veces omitían letras. ¿Vale? No es, esto no es nada nuevo como se crea ahora mismo. Okay. Que pone L o L. Ah, this, no, no. They would ah. do it 2,000 years ago. Because, <laughs> as I said, writing something down, uh, in, especially was a book, or imagine writing something down, a word was expensive. So, yeah. oh, pues tiene sentido, gracias, interesante dato. Uh -huh. Es curioso. De nada. Uf, otra vez ha ido. Vale, no me lo puedo creer.